Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your October blessings video. Sagittarius, we are going to be looking at some tarot cards and oracle cards to deliver the messages that are here for you. I want to remind you Sagittarius that these videos are generalized so take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't is that to resonate with someone else who's watching this video. Sagittarius, also Remember to have a look at your sun sign, your moon sign, and your ascendant sign, because together this is going to give you a much fuller, deeper reading. Also, these videos are generalized, so take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't, as that will resonate with someone else who's watching this video. If you need your own personal reading done, my website is in the description box below. Uh, get in touch with me and I'll be more than happy to work with you. So, Sagittarius, what is going on for you? Where are your blessings coming in this month? So we are seeing that the first card that we have is the Eight of Wands. I love the Eight of Wands because it speaks about sudden quick changes that almost feel like they came out of the blue. This is like a change that can just come and say, wow, you've won the lottery, right? You were not expecting it. It just came out of the blue. And it's something that is great. You feel really uplifted, excited about this new beginning. As we are going through these difficult times at the moment around the world, this is something that can come in and you'll be surprised. Maybe your boss is saying to you, you know, I know that we are making cutbacks at the moment, but we want you to stay. And not only do we want you to stay with the company, we are going to give you a promotion. We're going to give you a raise. And you're going to be like, what? I wasn't expecting that. I was afraid that you're going to tell me that I'm going to be unemployed. So this is the type of energy that just comes in unexpectedly, but you're going to be feeling really good. The ones are all about our passion. It's all about our creativity, right? It's about being confident, being ambitious. So this card equally is saying to you, if there's an ambitious project that you want to get started, get started. Because with this card, it's that card that really speaks about that fire, that spark that really lights you up. And so if there's a business that you wanted to start and now you're worried because there is all this darkness that is going on us around us in the world. And so you're not sure whether you should, you know, be starting something new. The divine is saying, if you feel that this thing that you want to start, that inside your heart, your soul, your very being, the essence of your being, if it's crying out for you to start this new project, this new business, this new venture, this new path, do not be worried about what is going on around you in the world. Get started because you could see yourself really progressing quite quickly. Because I love the energy of the eight. The energy is that infinity potential, right? So the divine is saying this is where your blessings could be coming in. Sudden, unexpected changes that could really see you excited, really see you feeling uplifted and feeling joyous and we're seeing that the next card we have is the seven of cups now the seven of cups is the card that can talk about analysis paralysis right almost a tongue twister for me there this card could be saying that you are currently in a situation where it requires you to make a choice perhaps you send out loads and loads and loads of job applications for instance and suddenly they have all replied. Maybe you went on a few interviews and now seven of them are offering you a job and you're thinking to yourself, oh my God, I don't know which one to take. Which one is the right one? Um, you're sitting there thinking, what about the healthcare packaging for this one? What about the holiday? And so this is the energy that you are trying to make choices. You've been presented by a lot of choices, but now you don't know which one to choose. So, I mean, this is a great problem to have. It's not a bad thing. But you could just be in that element where you're just like, mm, I don't know, you know, which one is it? Which one shall I go for? And you almost feel like time is running out. So the number seven really spoke, speaks about victory. So whatever it is that you choose, as long as you've taken the time to really assess each situation, 
that is being offered to you. Really look at it. Look at the small print. Do not be afraid to ask questions because you have so many offers. So maybe let's go to a job, for instance, or maybe you're putting in an offer for a house. But there's another house that you like and you also you had put an offer for that one because you didn't know if this house were going to accept an offer from you. And now you like a few houses and you don't know which one to choose. So now you could be there negotiating and driving a hard bargain because you are in a good position. This card speaks about you being in a good position. Okay, so let's say you had applied to go to university or or start a course, for instance, and you're not really sure if you're going to be accepted. So you send out a few applications to a few different schools. Maybe you're starting an online course, maybe. And now you've been accepted to all of them. And now you're thinking, hmm. So this card is a good type of energy. This is not an energy that's going to have you feeling disappointed. It's going to have you feeling confused, maybe. But not disappointed. Because this card is all about choices. Yes, it could be challenging to make the right choice. It could feel like it's a challenge to make the right choice. So this card is saying, whilst yes, there's a challenge. So be really strategic. Really think things through before you make your final decision. I love the next card that we have because the next card is the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles speaks about, let's talk first about the Pentacles. The Pentacles is about our wealth, our health, money, job, the things that make us feel stable, for instance. And being the king, you are at the top of your game. You are the authority. You are the leader of whatever is going on here. So we sit, certainly see you feeling good. We certainly see you feeling like, I feel stable. I feel like I'm at a good place. Even though there's the craze, again, around going on around the world. But in my world, I certainly feel incredible. I feel that I've got a good grasp on things, on my life, on, on my money, on my health. Certainly everything is working out really great for you. And I love to see this energy because here in the month of October, we certainly want to hear more success stories. We want to see more people winning. We just need that energy that can lift up other people who are watching, our brothers, our sisters, our people in our communities, because when they see you winning, they now feel that, oh, there's a chance for me too. So by you winning, you're inspiring people. You're giving hope to other people that all is not lost. So certainly celebrate your wins, do not feel that you have to hide, that your life is going really well and you're being really successful, whatever it is that you're doing. So I certainly love the energy here because it certainly seems that there are a lot of blessings that are coming in and these blessings are going to seem that you're being given a bit too many because now you can't choose which one is the right one. But either way, life looks good. So the next card that we have is our first oracle card. And this first oracle card is saying to you to expect powerful changes. And certainly I thought, ah, that's interesting because it has exactly the same energy as the, uh, as the eight of wands. So there certainly are some powerful changes that are coming in. Maybe you have, I don't know, a YouTube channel. And someone has been watching and they're coming in and making you a great proposition. And here you, you were perhaps worried about money, about your job, about all these different things. And so something you just be coming in and offer, you open your email one day and there's just a really good offer that's coming in. Maybe a life-changing situation that happens. So certainly expect powerful changes that are going to light you up that you're going to be really excited about. And so the next card that we have is here to remind you, Sagittarius, that you are good enough. Perhaps a company that you never thought would want to work with you. Maybe they saw your Instagram account and they're thinking, you know, 
you're the perfect match for us. And then again, you could be thinking, oh, I don't know. I'm... No, you are good enough. There is so many blessings that are around for you here in the month of October. So certainly take all these opportunities that have been presented and given to you. Do not be a shrieking violet. Do not be shy. Take all these opportunities and run with them. Go and succeed. Go and inspire as many people as possible through your success, through your diligence and hard work. Because whatever is coming in here for you, Sagittarius, you are good enough and you have certainly worked long and hard for these opportunities to be presenting themselves. Now, the next card that we have is Rhiannon. And Rhiannon is the sorcerer. The sorcerer is that magician energy, right? You can make anything that you want. You can create the life that you want. Despite everything that is going on, your life is still in your hands. The magic wand is still in your hands for you to create, to command the energies. If you're really strategic, if you're really careful about what you're thinking, about your thoughts. And this is what you're thinking most of the times. Not only the time when you're meditating or trying to manifest something. Your thoughts are always running on autopilot, on default. So make sure that those thoughts that are running on autopilot or on default, that they are in that element of creating and manifesting that they are daydreaming beautiful things that you want to manifest in your life. Because this card here is saying, or is reminding you, here's your blessings right here. This card here is reminding you that you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. Now, Sagittarius, did you notice where you have to pay particular attention? Yes, your clear intentions. Now, how clear are you with your intentions? Are you the type of person who just says, yes, in my head, I know this is what I want. And yeah, but have you ever taken the time out to get a pen and a paper to go out maybe in nature to sit down, really connect with your heart, your soul, your subconscious mind, your very being. And not only that, connect with the divine. And as you write what it is that you want to manifest, you're really feeling it deep inside you. You're pouring your emotions, you're pouring your intentions, your pure intentions into what you want to create. And that is the secret to step number one of manifesting something. So remember that you are a magical being. Like Rhiannon, don't forget to be out in nature because this is where the secret number two is. You manifest a lot quicker when you're out in nature. So, recapping one and two, write what you want, and even better if you're out in nature, connected to nature, connected to the divine, connected really deep down, bringing out your pure intentions. With clarity, you're speaking them out. With clarity, you're giving them life by writing them out. So you have given them that life into the first part of manifesting your intentions into reality before you can start experiencing them. So the next card that we have is, is the Sky Father. And the Sky Father is here to remind you to trust in the unknown. Perhaps you've never heard someone say that to go out in nature with a pen and paper and to write down your intentions. Well, trust in the unknown because I can certainly tell you that it works. Sagittarius, this is the reading that I have for you. I wish you all the best of luck. Enjoy all these blessings that are manifesting for you here in the month of October. As October goes by, more and more blessings are going to come in. So really stay focused on what it is that you want. Remember to go out in nature. Remember to give life to your manifestations, to your dreams by writing them out, by really bringing in your heart, your soul, your subconscious mind, your very being, your essence 
into that writing notepad with a pen and paper and really be out in nature and you're gonna see how quick these blessings are gonna come in. So on that note, I'm gonna love you and leave you and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family and it's a goodbye for me.